So my name is Sarah Bailey. For some of you guys that don't know me, I'm a double diamond leader with It Works. And I'm going to just share with you how I got started and my story up until now very quickly because a lot of you guys have already heard this. So basically, um, I joined, I watched Brittany Harina for probably six months before I ever took the leap of faith to join. And I just saw her getting all these bonuses and just crazy stuff. And I didn't think it was possible. I totally thought that this was a scam, but, um, I, have had a somewhat rough past. I graduated high school in 2004, went straight to college, went to East Carolina University here in North Carolina, and um, just because that was the, the right quote unquote thing to do. So I did that. I actually spent six and a half years in college because I did not have anyone, anyone paying for my college, so I actually had to take semesters off throughout college to work two to three jobs at a time in order to pay for college. Um, but I just knew that it was going to be all worth it because everybody is supposed to go to college and get a bachelor's degree. And after that, you are supposed to be able to live the American dream. Um, so that's what I did. I worked from 10 PM, nine or 10 PM to five or six in the morning at McDonald's as a shift manager for six years. I then went to school from eight to 12 and worked either my two to seven job or my four to 10 job. And then I would go to my third shift job again. So my schedule was really crazy. I was living in the ghetto. And I, when I mean the ghetto, I mean like legit um, in the hood where people, you know, got shot and keep my car and everything else. By myself um, so that was a bit hard on me but <clears throat> you know I just worked my butt off and thought that it was gonna pay off and then when I get out of college six and a half years later I moved back home and I rented a trailer out because that's all I could afford to live in and went without electricity a couple times got my water shut off you know things like that I was eating fast food or ramen noodles all the time because that's all I could afford. And it took me a year and three months to get a job, even though I had a bachelor's degree. So I was working again, two jobs all the time, trying to make ends meet. My husband was in the military and at first we were just dating and then we got married. He was stationed in Colorado though. And I finally had found a great job. So I lived here and he lived in Colorado, which is like, literally across the states um for the entire first year and three months that we were married so we lived without each other um which was really tough but when he came home it also took him a long time to find a job so we were on unemployment trying to again make ends meet and it was just like this ongoing cycle and no matter how hard we worked we just could not get anywhere we we owed thousands of dollars on credit cards we only have one car at one point um which was hard with having both of us having a job and we wanted a family so bad um so finally he found a job we both worked at the hospital we thought we were making good money um, my salary was like thirty thousand, and his was like twenty six thousand. so you know for a fresh out of college kid that's pretty good money but in all reality, you can still only barely make ends meet. We were still living paycheck to paycheck. We couldn't afford to get a new car. We couldn't afford to do anything extra. So um, after he was in the job for about six months and we both had a steady income, we started trying to get pregnant and we couldn't get pregnant. Um, I have endometriosis, so I was going through lots of medical treatment and surgery and infertility stuff, and that was kind of wiping us dry with whatever extra money that we had, which was, again, <laughs> tough because all we wanted was a kid. And so that's when I really found It Works and found Brittany, and I was watching her, and, you know, with the infertility treatment, we needed an extra income. And so uh, in January of 2015, I finally sucked it up and joined. I told my husband, I'm going to spend $100 on this. 
He was like, what are you kidding? We don't have a hundred dollars. That's a scam, blah, blah, blah. He did not want me to do it at all. So the reason I waited till January is because I had some Christmas cash that was supposed to go to our cell phone bill. So I actually took money out of our cell phone bill and was late on our cell phone payment just so that I could join It Works. And here a year and a half later, I'm a double diamond and we're making, my husband's an emerald, so we're, we're making an average of like five to $6,000 a month, which is insane. We found out that we were pregnant the month that I joined, so that quickly became my why. And I was able to quit my job and be a stay-at-home mom. And so that's really all I wanted. I'm not trying to get emotional tonight, but I've been a hot mess all day, y'all. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, so that's a little bit of my story. This company is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure how many of you guys are new, but I'm going to be going over some kind of terminology stuff tonight and quickly touch on how to go Ruby and the lingo that we use and stuff like that. So, um, the first thing I want to talk about is the difference in the customers that we have. So some of you guys know this, some of you guys don't, but whenever you join as a distributor, you're told that your first goal is to get two customers, two loyal customers, and that makes you fast start qualified. And we'll go over that in a second. Um, but what some of you don't know is that there is a difference between a loyal customer and a retail customer. So retail customers are customers that order one time only and they pay retail price on the products. All of our products have a retail price and they also have a loyal customer price. Being a loyal customer means that they would order one product a month for three months in a row. It can be different products every month or it can be the same one and they're going to get 40% off of every single time they order as well as for life. Even if they cancel their auto shipment, um, they'll still get 40% off for life as long as they never cancel their actual account. So that's the beauty of being a loyal customer. Um, it also helps you out because that's where our residual income comes in and then they get 10% back on whatever they spend in perk points. So we have a great loyal customer program, whereas a, not a lot of other companies have a, a customer program like that where they get a discount. A lot of companies, you have to become a distributor to get that wholesale pricing. So that's one of the great things about this company. Um, so those are the two different types of customers. And you really want to shoot for four customers in your first 30 days. Four loyal customers, sorry, not retail customers. Um, because that just builds your customer base and that's what's going to get you started getting those paychecks. If you can get more, that's great. If you can't, that's fine. Um, one thing that we do have is something called volume and every product that we have has a volume to it. It's kind of like a point system for all of our products. So for instance, I'll take the wraps. The wraps are $59 for a loyal customer, but they're only 54 volumes. So we get paid on the volume of that order, not the price of the order. So that's one of the several products that has a different price and volume. A lot of them do have the same price and volume, like our um, Repair Age and Prevent Age Lip and Eye Cream. A lot of stuff has the same loyal customer price and volume. So that's how your pay is determined you're gonna get a percentage of that volume off of all of your customers, as well as if you have distributors underneath you, you're also gonna get a percentage off of, off of their customers as well. Um, so the, there's three different types of volumes. There's PBV, there's BV, and then there's GV. So I'm gonna go over those really quickly. PBV is personal bonus volume. That's anything that you actually by yourself. And so that means like if you run an auto shipment that month and, or maybe you just signed in and bought a product just on the fly, that's your PBV. Now, or that's your BV, I'm sorry. Your PBV is any volume you have from your personal customers. Um, so BV would be your auto shipment and PBV would be anybody that you have directly underneath you as a customer, whether it be a retail customer or a loyal customer. 
Um, your GV means group volume, and that's going to be anybody you have under you. So say I have three distributors underneath me and all of those have customers, that goes into my GV. So that's my group volume from literally myself and everybody needs everybody underneath me. So those are the three different types of volumes. You're going to see that a lot on eSuite. You're going to see it out beside products. Um, you're also going to see it on your commissions tab whenever you get paid. So that's you know how you can understand it. Um, there's also a couple other abbreviations that we use. One is FSQ, means Fast Start Qualified. So I mentioned that earlier and I'm going to go over that really quickly. Fast Start Qualified means that you have gotten two loyal customers and have reached 150 volume in sales or have run an ADBV in auto shipment, a personal auto shipment in your first 30 days. The beauty of being Fast Start Qualified and why you guys need to shoot for your two loyal customers in your first 30 days is that that makes you bonus eligible for life. So let's say that you only get one customer in your first 30 days, but you signed and you have a chance to that $500 Ruby bonus. You're not going to get that Ruby bonus even if you promote to Ruby in those full two calendar months unless you have become Fast Start Qualified. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so Fast Start Qualified is awesome. That I mean, you don't have to get, technically, you don't have to get any customers after that if you don't want to, but let's say you go diamond and there's a $10,000 good bonus on the line. If you were not Fast Start Qualified, you don't get that bonus. So that's really important is to make sure that you guys get two customers in your first 30 days. So the other one that we use is CQ, and that means Commission Qualified. So there's basically pay it eligible. There's two different ways to be commission qualified. One of those ways is to run an ADBV auto shipment. So that's why you're told to set up an auto shipment on the day that you join because they just want to make sure that you're pay eligible, that you're going to be paid. So you can either do that and run an auto shipment of ADBV or more, which is about $80 in products, or you can shoot for 150 volume in sales which is about $150. I always recommend to do the auto shipment. The auto shipment used to be required, um, and I wish that they would make it required because in order to quote unquote sell better, being a product of the product definitely helps that. If you're not using the products, and you don't believe in the products, then how can you expect somebody else to buy them? So I, I always recommend to set up an auto shipment, use the products, have your personal results, personal testimonies are great. That's what's going to get you the best customers because they can see a picture of Cindy Luhu over here that used five wraps, but they don't know Cindy Luhu. If, you know, Asia uses two wraps and she has incredible results, then all of Asia's friends on Facebook are going to be like, oh my gosh, I just saw her a month ago and look, she's dropped six pounds or she's tightened and toned and firm, whatever. So personal results are always better. Um, I cannot express to you enough how important running an auto shipment is, but I will say this. <clears throat> when I first joined, I did not run an auto shipment for about five or six months because like many of you, I joined to make money and not spend money. So spending money on an auto shipment was very tough for me at first. So it's okay if you can't run an auto shipment now, but once you start making money, once you see your first paycheck, that's maybe over $80, Try to invest in that, even if you run the auto shipment for a couple boxes of wraps. You can always sell those wraps for wrap cash, $25 a piece, and make your money back plus a profit. So, all right, let's move on to posting really quick. So, um, some of you guys are just started and you're wondering, what the heck do I do? I just signed up and I don't know what I got myself into. I don't know what I'm doing. So here's what you need to do first. You need to make a post. You need to announce your business because you'd be surprised at how many people will comment and say, yes, I would love to help you or um, what are you selling, something like that. I have a script that I send my distributors whenever they first sign up and it basically just says, hey, friends and family, I joined in on a new adventure. I'm now an It Works distributor I'm looking for five product testers and you'll get 40% off for life 
would anybody be willing to help me out? And I tell them to either post a selfie holding up five fingers or before and after showing like one of our main products that everybody loves, which is hair, skin and nails, wraps. Um, the cleanse is amazing. So anything with powerful results, that's what you're going to post when you first start. You just want to announce it. And again, you'd be surprised how many people would be willing to help you out. So that's the very first thing you should be doing whenever you join. Um, after you make your first post and, it, and you announce, you need to log into your eSuite. There are some tax forms that they'll ask you to fill out just verifying your information because this is a job and you do own a business. So they are going to ask for your you know, tax information. Um, once you do that, there are tons of information. There's tons of information on eSuite. It can be kind of overwhelming at first. So if you're like me, I am like a total organization freak. So I literally watched every single training video back to back to back when I first joined, just because like I needed to know everything about it. So there is a little U tab at the top of your eSuite and it's got tons of videos that will explain kind of what I'm talking about right now. So make sure you do that as well. Kind of familiar, familiarize yourself with eSuite. There's a support tab. There's a document library. Um, there's also a website called myitworksproductcoach.com, and that website is going to give you all the information you need on every single product we have. So it's going to answer frequently asked questions. It's going to explain what the product actually actually does. Um, there's going to be tons of stuff on there. It says my connection is unstable. Can you guys still hear me? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yes, so that's the first thing that you want to do. And then you want to start actually posting. So I tell my team, if you guys aren't on my team, you may have been taught something else. So just go with, you know, whatever works for you, but this is what I do. There are a few different types of posts in this business. So there are product posts, number one, there is life posts, number two, and then there's personal posts. So I try to do at least two product posts a day and product post means anything to do with a product. It can be a before and after picture. It can be a picture of you holding a product. If you don't have any products yet, it can be a picture from the it works global Facebook page of a product, anything that has to do with a product. It could be a selfie and saying how excited you are about a product. Um, those are all product posts. So you want to do at least two of those a day. I shoot for three. Sometimes that doesn't happen. That's okay. And I'll tell you why it doesn't happen because you don't want all of your it works posts, like all of your product posts to touch each other. You don't want to look like a salesperson. You don't want to look like you're just trying to get somebody's money and sell people on stuff. You want to be real. And so that's where the other posts come in. So life posts means anything to do with the company, how thankful you are to be working from home, how excited you are to see what the future holds with this company, how um, it just kind of where you're going to go with the company, what you want the company to do for you. And so my personal life posts, I always talk about being a stay at home mom because I absolutely love it and how this company has given me the opportunity to do that. I talk about, you know, how much I make. I don't give the exact amount because that's against compliance, but I will tell my rank and how long I've been in and how anything is possible. We don't have to have sales experience. I was a child development major. I have nothing like never sold a thing in my entire life. So um, just talk about stuff like that, stuff that the company is going to do for you. And if you haven't seen a paycheck yet or you haven't seen a big paycheck yet, a lot of people are like, well, how do I post about the business if I haven't made a lot of money? That's a good question. And it's okay if you haven't made a lot of money because this company is your vehicle to whatever your dream is. And so you want to post about your dream. You want to post a picture of that dream house that you've been staring at on the drive home every single day for five years. And you want to say like, in a year, I'm going to be double diamond or I'm going to be presidential or ambassador or whatever. I'm going to be a black diamond with this company making $37,000 a month. And I'm going to be able to own that house. Like who else wants to buy their dream house? Anything like that. You don't have to already be making the money. And that's where a lot of people get discouraged because they don't feel like they can talk about it, but you can. 
remember your why, think about why you joined and project that to be happening in real life. Project that it's going to happen because I promise you if you work hard, it will happen. Um, the third type of post is personal posts. So make sure everything that you post is not about it works. I post pictures of my kids being like, look at Oliver chewing on this squid puzzle piece or something like that. Anything to kind of, you know, draw people in. You want to be a real person. People want to know that you still have a life, that you're not just trying to, again, sell them on something. So you want to make sure that you're kind of alternating these three types of posts throughout the day. A good rule of thumb is to never let your It Works pictures touch. Sometimes I let like a business post and a product post touch because if you looked at the picture of the business life posts, you wouldn't know that it was about It Works unless you read the caption. But as far as product post goes, do not let them touch. That seems too salesy and you don't want to come off as a salesperson because that's not what we are. We're about helping people helping people achieve their dreams, their financial goals, their body goals, stuff like that. So you want to come off as you absolutely love the company, you love the products, and you want to help people either love the company or love the products as well. So those are the big things about posting. I usually try and post anywhere from six to 10 times a day, depending on how busy I am. Um, that's a good thing to do because as we know the Facebook algorithms sometimes everybody doesn't see your posts there was a statistic that I read about that said literally 18% of the people on your Facebook are actually seeing your posts that means the majority of people are not seeing your posts if you have a hundred friends only 18 of those people are seeing your posts and so that's that's a little crazy so as you post more especially if you're posting things about your personal life people are going to start seeing your posts more and a good way to enhance that is to comment on other people's things so that's my next thing just throughout the day um, to get your business going and to get your um, audience so to say more active on your page and seeing your posts more what I do is I take time out of my day at the end of the day before I go to bed, I will spend 10 minutes commenting on people's stuff, not liking their stuff. That does help. But how many of you actually look to see who the 58 people were that liked your picture? Like I usually don't look at them, but if somebody comments on it, you're just like, Oh, Ileana just commented on my picture and then you respond. So it's a lot easier to see those people comment on your picture and then especially if you're commenting on somebody that you really aren't, you don't know, like on Instagram, they're going to go to your profile and they're going to be like, who is this chick that keeps commenting on my stuff? And they're going to see what you have to offer. Um, and they may start watching you for a while. I'll tell you that a lot of people, I was embarrassed to post on Facebook at first because a lot of people that I went to high school are on my Facebook and I didn't want them knowing that I was working for it works. Cause I was like, I know that nobody's going to want what I have to offer. They're going to think I'm stupid. Like it's a scam, whatever. Um, so I used Instagram to do my business for the first like six months. Cause I was too scared to post on Facebook. But when I did start posting on Facebook, a ton of people from my high school that I was scared to post about, are actually customers now or even distributors on my team so that's one of the things I wanted to mention is do not be scared to post this is a job this is your job and this job is going to to make your dreams come true like seriously it sounds cliche and corny but it can make your dreams come true it's just like if somebody was working at a different company and they advertise other ways like commercials on TV this is your way to advertise so use it as much as you can you'd be surprised how many people actually want this um, a lot of people are going to be skeptical at first you are going to get a lot of no's and that's okay because a lot of those no's are going to turn into yeses later on I promise you um, it seems hard at first sometimes because you're just like Oh, I've talked to like 20 people and all of them have said no. That's okay. Talk to 20 more. And then if those say no, talk to 20 more people because somebody wants this. Oh, out there looking for this opportunity 
right now. You just have to find the right person. Um, <clears throat> and some people just want to watch your journey for a little while. They, they think it's a scam. And then when you promote your first time and you get announced that you promote or when you have incredible results and you start posting it and they keep seeing these posts over and over and over again, they're going to want what you have. I can guarantee it. Does anybody have any questions about that so far? No. no. You're rude. My husband said, why do you talk so much? Um, okay. So I wanted to touch on Ruby because when everybody joins your first, like not your first real rank, because a real rank is executive after you join. So I'll go through the ranks really quick for you new people. So everybody joins as a distributor. Your first rank is going to be executive. And then you're going to hit Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, Double Diamond, Triple Diamond, Presidential, and Ambassador. So there are eight ranks in the entire company, not including the distributor that you join as. So the way to promote is to, one, get customers, two, sign distributors. As you grow your team, customer base and distributor base, that's going to help you promote. And so right now, the reason why I'm going to go over Ruby is because they have the $500 Ruby bonus in your first two calendar months, full two calendar months. So what that means is if you joined in the middle of the month, like Caitlin, I know you're brand new, you just joined today. So you're probably like floored right now with the overwhelming amount of information, but don't get discouraged. Um, so Caitlin joined today and it is the 18th. So she has the rest of this month, she has next month and the next month to go to, to promote to Ruby to get that $500 bonus. So it's two full calendar months. So the whatever rest of the month that you're actually in doesn't, doesn't count, that's just extra days, which is awesome. So this is a Ruby chart. I've written a lot of stuff on this one because I send these out to potential distributors with a couple of samples of things sometimes. Um, but you can find these on the document tab in your eSuite. So if you go to document library and just type in Ruby in the little search bar, you'll see something that says like Ruby chart or Ruby promotional chart or something like that. I don't know exactly what it says, but basically every chart, if you print it out in color, is going to have, sorry, I don't know if you guys can see, it's going to have gray boxes and it's also going to have green boxes. So a little breakdown of that. Your green boxes are your leadership boxes. Okay. Um, and you are a leader. So yourself and whoever is in that leadership box only needs to be commission qualified. And we've already talked about how to go get commission qualified. You either run an ADBV auto shipment or you, you are, you got, you get customers. Sorry, I can't talk with 150 volume in sales, whether that be from one customer, three customers, four customers, whatever. But we know that you have to get two customers in your first 30 days to even qualify for this bonus. Um, so that's the leadership box. The other boxes that you're gonna see on the charts, these gray boxes right here, are gonna have a 400 GB out beside them. So you see all four of these boxes have 400 GB, and this one is green, and it says executive. So to be an executive, you have to have two distributors underneath you, and they have to have 400 GV each. To be Ruby, you have to have three distributors underneath you. One of those has to be executive. So I'm gonna repeat that because it's kind of confusing. To be executive, you have to have two distributors with 400 GV total, and to be Ruby, you have to have three distributors underneath you. One of those has to be executive. So total, to be Ruby, you have to have five distributors in your downline somewhere. One of those distributors is going to be executive with 150 volume in sales or an ADBV auto shipment, or, um, or and you have to have four other distributors with 400 GB a piece. You guys are probably overwhelmed right now, the new ones. Don't get overwhelmed. It's fine. Um, if you don't get your Ruby bonus, it is okay. I will tell you it took me seven and a half months to go Ruby. It took me five months to go executive. Not getting your bonus is not the end of the world. And it's not a reason for you to give up on your dreams and your why. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of people 
on here that didn't get the Ruby bonus. And we keep pushing because there are other ranks out there and the income that that rank offers you is much more than that one-time payout of the $500 bonus. So don't get discouraged, just keep pushing. But that is the biggest rank that people go for at the beginning because everybody can use the extra $500 a month, right? Like that's all I joined for was $500 a month. It wasn't some crazy amount like five to 6,000. Like I never thought that this was possible. I just wanted $500 so I could go part-time and stay at home with my babies. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pause for a second and answer any kind of like newbie questions that anybody may have. You can unmute yourself or you can chat in the little chat bar. Um, but that's pretty much the basic of the lingo and kind of how to go Ruby. So I'll wait just a second and see if anybody has any questions. And if you're scared to talk, just type it out in the, in the chat bar. It's fine. Nobody has any questions? What's up, Michelle? Michelle has a question. Never offered the taxing when I signed up in my E-suite. Does it affect me because I'm from Canada? That's a good question. I'm not from Canada, so I actually do not know, but um, you can go into your e-suite and click on settings, I believe. I believe it's settings. And um, you can see those. If, if it's needed, if those forms are needed, it should be in settings. So I would just go over that just to see whether it maybe You might not have realized it when you activated your website because it's super simple. You just verify your information and then, like, that's it. So... Does anybody else have any questions? Thank you, Asia. All right, so now that I've gone over some of the basic stuff, I'm going to go over a little bit of the stuff that you got, that some of my team heard on the last Zoom, just some motivation type stuff. So if you don't wanna hear it again, you're welcome to hop off, or if you wanna stay on, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> Who just got on or off? Okay. In this company, you're going to have a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? Bumps in the road, maybe. Um, you might have more than some people. You might not have, but like one the entire time you're in this company. But the thing to remember is your why. Um, some of you guys, your why is money. Some of you guys, you just want to stay at home with your kids. Some of you just want to have more free time because you hate your job. And that's okay. Remember that. Um, don't stress about these timelines. I'll say this again. The Ruby bonus is great, but it's also discouraging for some people because a lot of people don't hit the Ruby in those first two calendar months and they quit because they feel like, they feel like this company is not for them. That is not the case. Keep pushing keep pushing, keep pushing. That's like, I can't preach it enough. Share your story. Everybody has a story from where they came from, like me living in the hood with no electricity and unable to pay my bills and feed myself. Share your story. Share where you came from, where you are now, and where you want to go. Because I guarantee that there is someone out there that has the same story type story as you do. And if you can do this, if I can do this, then anybody can do this. Y'all, my mom is, she's Ruby, like my mom. So if my mom can do it, like literally anybody can do it. She's not Facebook technology savvy at all. Um, <clears throat> the, the second thing is if you're just doing this for money, you are not going to get far. This company is about helping people. We want to help people. The money is great. Um, 
everybody joins for money, but if you just focus on getting money from people and making a sale, you're not going to get very far because number one, you're going to piss people off. Number two, you're, you're going to be so pushy that you're going to turn people off that we're interested because all you want is that sale. We don't focus on the money here. We focus on helping people and the more people you help, the more it's going to help yourself. The more lives you change, you are going to change your life. That's what it's all about. Um, I love this quote that I have written down on a sticky note that I look at every single day. It says, I am the only problem I will ever have, and I am also the solution. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing stuff. You are the only problem you'll ever have. If you're negative, that negativity seeps in and it's going to get you down. You are the only solution to your problems, your why, your everything. So keep that in mind. Um, there's going to be three reasons, three main reasons why people aren't going to join you. And you're going to find out these as you talk to people. Some people are going to be skeptical. That's okay. I was skeptical. I watched my plan for six months. Sometimes it takes a year for people to sign up. The, the most important thing about this is to make re build relationships with people, make these connections, let them know that you're real, let them know that you are trying to help them. You're not just trying to get a distributor out of them. You're not just trying to get the money out of them. You're not just trying to make a sale. You are trying to help them. And the best way to do that is to be sincere. You guys, I talk to literally hundreds of people every single day because I have that many quote unquote friends that I've made. And I don't know half of these people. Ileana, I didn't, I didn't know any of you guys, actually, none of you on here. I don't know any of you personally. I've never met you before in my entire life. Um, but you're here for a reason. And it's because either I or somebody else has made that connection with you, has established a relationship and has treated you like a person and not a sale. So use that whenever you are trying to sign people. Remember why you joined. Remember what stood out to you about the person that signed you and that's what you want to do. <clears throat> um, okay, be a product of the product. We've already talked about that. Don't stress about quitters. You're going to have quitters. I have people quit like almost every single day and it's fine because there's going to be somebody else out there that wants it and I'm just going to move on. Some people are not going to work this business like a business. They are going to work it like a hobby and they're still going to expect to be paid like a millionaire. And that's just not logic. It just doesn't make sense. So don't stress about those. There will be other people. It happens all the time. Um, let me see what else I wanted to talk about before we hop off. One of the biggest things to do, I think, is to get wraps on people. Get the wrap on as many people as you can. So we all sign up and we get the same kit. We get four wraps in our kit. Caitlin actually just got eight wraps in her kit because she took advantage of the BOGO deal. So she's got eight wraps instead of four. But you can sell those wraps for $25 a piece. Number one, make your kit money back. Number two, share the wraps with people. And when they see their results, they are going to be excited and they're going to want to sign up as a customer. And that's how you get your first few customers. You talk to friends and family, you put the wrap on people, even if it's Standing in a Starbucks bathroom while you're wrapping somebody, get the wrap on people. A lot of these things that you're going to do in this business are going to be out of your comfort zone, like blitzing. We haven't talked about blitzing yet, but I'm going to touch on that really quick. In your kit, you get a pack of blitz cards, and they are just big business cards. These are kind of old ones, so yours might not look like this. This is what they're going to look at look like, sorry. So it's going to have the, have you tried that crazy wrap thing? It's going to have a coupon on it, or it says get one for free if you throw a party. Now on the back, it's going to say this is what it does. So it tightens, tones, and firms in as little as 45 minutes. You can wear up to eight hours. Um, I sleep in mine. I just chug a lot of water before I go to bed and when I wake up. So like I literally do nothing while I wrap, but some people go grocery shopping. You can do anything in these. Um, <clears throat> so these are going to be your best friend while you're out because number one, it's a coupon and who doesn't love coupons? 
it's going to feel super uncomfortable the first time you do it. But blitzing is a great way to get your business out to people that are maybe not your audience already. So a lot of times when, when you've been in the business for a little bit, for a few months, you're quote unquote warm market, which is the people that you're already friends with, is going to kind of fizzle out. It's going to burn out. People are going to either have bought or they don't want to buy. And that's just how it is. So in order to keep your audience fresh and, you know, join, like having new people see your posts, you need to be friending people and you need to be following people on Instagram. I do that daily. I do a hundred people on Instagram a day and I do five people on Facebook a day. That's just what I do. You can do whatever you want. But to get out there even more, I blitz almost everywhere we go, unless I'm in like a hurry and I don't want to talk to anybody, which is rare because I can talk your ear off, as you guys probably already know. I can talk to anybody. So a lot of um, people are scared about blitzing, so I'm going to give you a really quick, super awesome blitz tip. So many people are like, no, I haven't blitzed yet because... I'm scared they're going to ask me a question I'm not going to know the answer to. That's like everybody's biggest fear. What if somebody asks me about the rap and I don't know what to say back to them? Or what if I don't have personal results that I can't show them? How are they going to believe me? And how am I not going to look like a fool? So when I first started, I would only blitz if I was A, in a hurry, or B, people were behind me in a hurry. So a good way to do this, to kind of get out of your comfort zone and start with it, is to do it at a grocery store. Um, there are most likely going to be people behind you that are wanting to check out, and they don't want to hear you talk for 15 minutes about a wrap because they're ready to check out. And so what you do is, after they've put it all in a bag, you've paid for your groceries, you hand them a coupon and be like, hold on, you hand them a coupon and be like, you are so sweet. Here's a coupon. Thank you so much. And you walk off. That's it. It's so easy to blitz. Your name and your phone number are going to be on here. Maybe your website. If you want to add your website, I don't add my website, but I always write like add me on Facebook. Um, if I actually start a conversation with the person and they seem interested, I always say if you text me in the next five minutes, I will enter you into a drawing to win a free wrap. That way they text you so you have their number, which is another lead. That's another contact person that you can put in your phone, and that's another potential. Um, when you blitz people, sometimes people are going to look at you like you're crazy, and they're going to be like, I don't, what, I don't need that. And this has happened to me before where somebody looked like they were offended at my blitz card. I guess they thought I was saying that they were fat or something. So I started actually writing on these. We have over 35 products because a lot of people think that we are just wraps. That is what we're most known for, but we have so much more to offer. We have products for literally every person out there. We have products for, you know, your grandma whose knees ache when it rains. We have relief for that. We have products for, you know, that old guy that can't poop regularly. We have regular for that. We have, you know, wraps or stretch mark cream for those moms or expecting moms that want their body back. We have supplements for fitness fanatics. We have ProFit. We have weight loss products. We have an amazing skincare line. So there's so much more to us than just wraps. Um, our essential oils, like I am in love with, I literally have clear running in the diffuser right now because I love them. So we, we have something for everybody. So that's what I started doing with my blitz cards. But just remember, whenever you start blitzing, it's going to be scary. Your palms are going to be sweating and your heart's going to be beating like super fast. But just do it while you're in a hurry. Get those first ones out of the way. And then I guarantee you that you're going to be able to talk to anybody. Like I had a 20 minute conversation with some girl at Babies R Us about becoming a distributor because she's pregnant with twins. And I was like, oh my gosh, me too. And we just sat and talked about life for a second. I was not pushy. She added me on Facebook and she's been watching my post for, I don't know, three months now. She hasn't joined yet, but that's okay. All you want to do is get your business and opportunity out there to literally everyone you come in contact with. 
um, this company is in its boom season. And so if you don't talk to that person, somebody else is going to talk to them. And if you're not connecting with them and building relationship with them on a regular basis, they may forget about you or they're just not going to talk to you because all you do is message them when you're trying to get a sale. So I think that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, there are, if you're new, there's lots of conference calls. Sunday night, we have conference calls at 10 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time, 9 p.m. Central time, every single Sunday. It's our CEO uh, and a couple other people that are big wigs in the company. They kind of update us what's going on with the company and stuff like that. Those are, again, every Sunday. We have a show me the money call on Monday nights, same time, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern time. And those calls are going to be pretty much people who are telling their story. Those calls are great to get on if you really need a kick in the pants or some motivation to get started and you want to hear everybody's story. And you'd be surprised how many people took five years to get presidential. And then there's other people who got to ambassador in less than a year. Um, so everybody is different. Every journey is different. Do not compare your journey to somebody else's journey because God knows what he's doing. And I truly believe that you were brought to this company for a reason. You're going to be successful as long as you keep trying and you don't quit. Um, and when you do quit, remember you're quitting on yourself and your dreams and your team. You're not quitting on anybody else. You're quitting on you. So, <clears throat> Yeah, that's pretty much it. If anybody has any questions, you can feel free to stay on and talk to me about whatever. Um, but I'm going to stop the recording because that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about basic-wise.